Anchoring is a process that helps stop the ship. A vessel at anchor remains stationary at sea. Anchoring in calm waters. Approach at slow speed. Let go anchor with either headway or sternway. Sternway is the preferred option. The vessel generally starts gathering sternway once the propeller wash reaches amidships. The engines must go dead slow astern as the anchor is let go. Engines are stopped once the cable starts paying out. Engines are touched ahead to reduce weight on the cable after anchoring. If you anchor with headway, the cable grows aft. This procedure, though not wrong, could harm the vessel's paintwork. Anchoring in different depths. In anchorages up to 10 meters, 32.8 feet deep, the anchor and cable should be let go on the run allowing for about double the depth before checking the cable. Sufficient cable should be paid out. In depths of between 10 to 25 meters, 32.8 feet to 82 feet, the anchor should be walked to about 4 to 5 meters, 13 feet to 16.4 feet to above the seabed before dropping. In depths of between 25 and 80 meters, 82 feet to 260 feet, the entire anchoring operation must be done under power. This helps the ship handler control the cable. It is not recommended to anchor in depths of 80 meters, 260 feet, and above. Anchoring against the current. Approach stemming the tide, let go anchor with sternway. Pay out as the weight comes on the cable. A touch ahead on the engines may be required to relieve stress on the cable. If you are sailing with the tide, it is preferable to stem the tide before letting go. With the tide beam, let go about 2-3 to three shackles. Depending on water depth, check the cable and allow the vessel to swing to the tide. Complete the anchoring procedure as normal after vessel completes her swing. Anchoring against wind. Approach heading upwind. Let go the weather anchor. If you are heading into the wind's eye, the vessel must cast off one way or the other before letting go. Cast should not be excessive. If the ship seeks to lie across the wind, correcting helm and bolt engine movement helps correct the swing. Anchoring against current and wind abeam. Approach stemming the stream. Let go the lee anchor. When the vessel gets her cable, the stem will swing to the wind and the cable will grow clear. Vessel position at anchor. The swinging radius of the vessel is equal to the length of vessel, positive, length of cable, negative, depth of water. If the vessel moves outside its swinging radius, she is dragging anchor. From the example above, length of ship from bridge to anchor, 122 meter, positive length of cable is 6 shackles, 6 times 27.5 meters equals 165 meters minus depth of water, 12 meters, equals 275 meters, 1.5 cables.